What's up, happy family? Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing Paper Shooters The Patriot. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back. So this is the first review I'm doing of a Paper Shooters gun. Basically what these are, are these little guns made out of plastic, and you can put these paper or cardboard pieces over them. Um, and there's different ones you can get. You can get like an alien one. This is the Patriot version, so it's an American flag. There's also like camo ones and a lot of different stuff. There's like a zombie one. Now what's cool is they shoot these little paper pellets. So like, they literally shoot paper. It's finally here. Guns that shoot paper. Um, and you basically have infinite ammo. They're not like Nerf guns where you pick up the ammo and just keep firing and picking it up and reloading and shooting. These, it's a one-time use. You just make the ammo, but you basically have infinite as long as you have a few pieces of paper at home. It comes with a mold and you can keep making them. All right, so now I'm gonna unbox this. So here we have our, the main shell here. All your pieces go in here. All the internals, this is where the whole gun works. You can see the cutout here for the shells to eject. Two pieces of the shell right there. Here we get our stock. It's just a really simple stock made out of the same material as this. I have a bag with a bunch of stuff in it. I'll open that later. And now we get the instruction manual and nothing else is in the box. So I'm guessing that all the cardboard pieces are in here too. We get our instruction manual and all the cardboard pieces. Since this is the Patriot version, it's American flag themed. What I have to do is build all the internals first with all these pieces in the bag and then put the cardboard over it. The instruction manual actually is very detailed and it looks pretty nice. There's building the skeleton, which I said the internals, then the skin, and then the ammo. So there's three parts. First I build the skeleton with all the internals and everything. Then with the cardboard I build the skin, and then I make the ammo. Or it actually comes with some ammo you can use, and you can make your own with like um, paper or tissues or whatever. On the instruction manual it says it takes around an hour to build it. What you need to put this together is one small Phillips head screwdriver and a medium Phillips head screwdriver. You could use a mechanical screwdriver or an electric one like I have. If you're using an electric screwdriver, make sure you don't have the setting too high because you don't want to over screw it and break the plastic or something. All right, and we get our little shells here, which I'll talk about later. It's pretty cool. So, just like how I like to build Legos, I'm gonna, I like to set everything out on the table where I can see it. So, we get our air chamber or plunger tube or whatever you wanna call it with the charging handle, more shells, six round magazine, I'm pretty sure it's six rounds. We get our trigger, orange tip, another orange tip, more shells, more shells, barrel, plunger rod, another piece of the barrel, more internal pieces, and we get a bag of screws. This bag has all the springs in here and the O-ring. We have the O-ring for the plunger rod that goes on right there, um, and all the springs here, the return spring, the main springs. Also, we get a bag of paper pellets. So basically what they are is they're literally made out of paper. These little pellets, it's gotta go on the front of the shell. Yeah. And you put them in the shell like this. So it's kind of like a real gun, because on a real gun how it works is you get your shell with the gunpowder, the primer in the back, and you have the bullet on the front. So when you shoot it, the primer ignites the gunpowder, it explodes, pushes the bullet out, and the shell ejects. This is similar to it. Obviously there's no gunpowder or anything, this is a toy, but it still has the shells that whenever you shoot it, the air goes through the back of the shell. And I can't do it with my mouth, but the spring pushes the plunger rod into the air tube, which pushes air into here and pushes this out. And whenever you cock it, the shell will come out of the ejection port. Yeah, it's pretty cool how it works. We have the mold here. I'll teach you how to use the mold later, but using this mold, and some water. You can make your own little pellets like this out of tissue or paper or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is first build the skeleton and show you that first, and then when I put the cardboard over it, then I'll show you when it's fully completed. So I'll see you guys pretty soon when the skeleton is finished. Before I go, I wanna say one last thing to you guys. There's actually two different main springs you can use. You can use the child spring or the adult spring. They're basically the exact same thing, except the adult spring is a little bit harder to cock, although a little bit more powerful. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the adult spring, but you guys can use really whatever you want. So I finished building the firing mechanism part and I think it was pretty cool and I just wanted to show you. I got the charging handle, the air tube, the mainspring, or the standard or slash adult version, whatever you want to call it. The plunger rod with the O-ring on, the return spring. Okay, so this is just the firing mechanism here I have finished. I also have this little clip and spring I had to put into. All right guys, so here I have the skeleton completed. I got the gun and the magazine. All right, so first I'm gonna talk about it and then I'm gonna show you how to shoot it and make your own ammo. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a detachable barrel right here. This, and you can put it back on like this. Now, the safety. It does have a working safety. When it's forward like this, you cannot pull the trigger. You can cock the gun on safety, but the trigger won't pull. You can see, even if it's cocked, the trigger will not pull. When it's up like that, that's on fire. You can pull the trigger, cock the gun. It does have a charging handle up here you use to prime the blaster. And if you've just fired, once you cock it, a shell will eject from, eject from the ejection port right there. To know if you've got it all the way on safe or firing, once it clicks, it's on safe. And if it, and if it clicks over here, you know you're ready. So make sure you hear that click. The grip. I really love this grip because of how big it is. Lots of grips I've felt before are really small, too small for my hand, and my hand was like down here, my paint, it was uncomfortable. This is a pretty long grip, which I'm happy about. Then the six round magazine comes in pretty easily, and the magazine release right here. You can take the magazine out. It comes with six shells, and it is a six round magazine. So last, the stock. Overall, the stock is a pretty good stock. Since I have longer arms, I would like it a little bit longer, but there's nothing wrong with it right here. All right, so just in case you wanted to look, this is just the gun here without the cardboard on it. Just simple bare bones, skeleton. Here we are. All right, guys, so here is the gun completely finished with all the cardboard on it. So with all the cardboard on it, um, not only does it make it look cool, it also makes it look, I could say, kind of more like a real M4 with the stock, the carrying handle slash iron sight, front and rear iron sights, and it has like little rails on it. Now on the real M4, I know the rails on the side and front and bottom. This is kind of angled, but it still looks pretty cool. Now the magazine. The magazine still works perfectly, um, and it also looks cool too. Now I'm going to show you guys how to shoot this thing. So the magazine holds six of these shells and it comes with six. So perfect. Just in case you guys ever wanted to get anything extra, you can buy an extra two pack of magazines. So you'll get two extra, two plus one, three. Um, you can buy extra pellets and shells, I'm pretty sure. So before you shoot it, you got to get little pellets that comes with it and drop them in the water for around a minute to get them ready. So I'm just going to drop six of them in because we're about to shoot six. All right, we're filling up with water. What I figured out is once they sink to the bottom, they're about ready, as you can see here. Five out of six of them already sunk to the bottom. We're just, I'm just gonna wait for that last one. And once they've all sunk into the bottom, it should be about ready. All right, so the last one finally sunk. And they're all at the bottom now. I'm just gonna take one out. And once you take it out, you're basically gonna take one show and put it into the back like that. And I'm gonna do that with all the shells. So now that we have all of our six shells loaded, we're just gonna load them into the magazine like this. Okay. Now that they're all in the magazine, you're gonna load the magazine into the gun. Okay. So the first time you cock it, the shell's not going to eject. It's just going to load into the chamber. We're on safety, so now let's go to semi and fire this Jackson. So as you can see, Jackson is waiting for us to shoot him. So let's go ahead and all right. So I've changed Jackson's position. He moved from there to there, and now we're going to shoot him. 
I hit him in his neck. Now I'm gonna show you the shell ejecting from the ejection port. After I cock the charging handle, it will come out. And I'm not sure if you saw or not, when the charging handle came forward, it moved the bolt forward and a new one came up into the chamber. All right, ready? I'm gonna hit the wall behind it. Two missed, but hit the wall behind him. And as you can see, since they are wet with water, they actually stick to the wall, which is cool. The one thing with this ammo um, is once you shoot it, you can't shoot it again. You have to just make new ones or use the rest that come with the gun. I'm gonna show you how to make them. By the way, guys, um, on some of the parts of the gun, you have to super glue it. I just used hot glue. It's easier for me, if you were wondering. Anyway, here is how you make your own ammo. First, you're gonna get a piece of tissue paper. Now, I've tried it before with like a paper towel, and it works fine. Um, but not as good as these pellets, but it still works pretty good. I've never tried it before with tissue paper, so let's see. It's probably gonna work better with tissue paper than paper towel because they're telling you to make it with tissue paper. What you're gonna do is get your piece of tissue paper and roll it up into a little ball. When it's in a ball like this, you're gonna put it in here, in the mold, squeeze it tight and leave it in the mold for a few seconds. And then you would just wanna drop the whole mold in the water and leave it there for a little bit. Now let's wait for a little bit. All right, now we take the mold out of the water, open it up. Too much Try to get all that water out. Then we're gonna use this to push it out. Out like that. Put it in the back of the shell and it should be working now. Our own homemade ammo. Let's try this out. All right. Let's try shooting Jackson with our own homemade ammo. Ready? All right, so I can tell that that definitely flew better than the one I made out of paper towel. The ones are, that already came with the gun were a little bit better. They were a little bit faster, but this was still good. I'm thinking maybe this was a little bit too heavy. So maybe I should not leave it in water as long. Okay, happy family, now you can watch me shoot jacks in first person. GoPro, start video. Out. GoPro, pause video. All right, happy family, overall I thought this is a pretty cool gun. I love the ejecting shells. I really just love how this looks. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Be happy, peace out. Be happy, peace out. No. No. GoPro, stop video. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, your butt cheek. What? GoPro, stop video.